So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. And we rise now for the Danish national anthem. Russia have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too. But certainly, if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. Away. Juba. Driving on, he could shoot here. Oh, he's caught in, in or out. Oh, the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Eriksson with a delicate ball. Chikia knocks it away. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Golovin. Juba. He's made sure that that won't get through. Delaney, Poulsen, and the through ball is intercepted. Jikia, Golovin, hoists it forward. Russia seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. Well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Golovin. Bass. Eriksson. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to... Have a good look at one another. And it's played forward. Hoiberg. Denmark still to register a shot on target. Christensen, Delaney, Eriksson, Hoiberg.
Shirkov. Juba. And it's Shirkov. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Russia have a free kick. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And that's surely a foul free kick. Ericsson sticks in a foot to win it back. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, if he's serious about trying from this range, I think he, he must feel he can generate the power. Big ask. Delaney, Ericsson. Delaney really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Delaney goes looking. He's had a shot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. The love in. Oh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Hoiberg. Played into space out wide. Tries a shot! That's a half decent try. Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. Just brushed off the ball there. Ericsson. Now it's Ericsson. He's through the middle. He's in, shot, has a hit! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Battles to win it back. Oh, some tackle that. And he has been fouled there. And he has shown him a yellow card. Delaney. Hoiberg, Delaney, Christensen, Golovin, oh, no question, that's a foul.
Golovin. Hoiberg. Oh, good interception. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So we reached the halfway point. Denmark ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still, nil-nil. Already up and running for the second half. Denmark playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Delaney drives it forward. the shot and in it goes just the pick me up the whole game needs oh the invitation was received with such a clever run and he had that defense in in utter confusion Denmark take the lead, 1-0. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Floats one over. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Forward it goes. Golovin. Golovin gets a good foot in there. Delaney is giving away a free kick. Turns and goes back. Golovin. Ericsson is the guilty party there. It's always a good time to register and, and lay down a, an early marker in the second half. They clearly had exactly that in mind and have gone about their business with... Golovin! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Delaney. Hoiberg. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Hoiberg. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period, and it's 1 0. Kudryashov. Jikia, Golovin, Shirkov, Juba, Shirkov, lovely bit of skill there. Jag positions himself well and cuts it out. Pulsen. There's a move that looked promising, but oh, real danger here! Gets away from his opponents. of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Golovin. And the weighted pass. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do.
hit long and direct. And he's there to cut it out. Looks to clip it forward. Right through the middle. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. And that's a throw in. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Golovin. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Into the last quarter of an hour. Golovin plays it forward. Russia are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Kutryashov. And it's Zhirkov. Zhirkov. Oh, sweet feet. Played into the middle. Golovin spreads it towards the left. Russia are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Well positioned to make that interception. Shirkov. Eriksson, who does have an assist to his name. Still just that single goal, and we are nearly done. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Eriksson gets it out to the wing. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Hoiberg, the referee's awarded a free kick. All square again into the dying minutes. Gets it back. Juba. Golovin. Kutryashov. So that's it. It is all over. So it's ended in a draw. Draft and draft and everything apart from a winning goal that never came. An intriguing contest. And a result which at least partly satisfies all. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Denmark certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye.